The current GST carve-up does not reward political reform. Under the principle of horizontal fiscal equalisation, where all citizens can expect to have equal standards of government services, non-reforming states are being rewarded for their inaction. As Judith Sloan has written, the states that receive relatively, relative shares greater than one are those who have pursued anti-growth policies and have bloated public services. Clearly, the bigger you are, the more ideological you are, the more incompetent you are, the more money you end up getting. This is like a cash for clunkers scheme gone bad where we actually keep paying for the old clunkers to remain on the road. So why then would we not extend this model into other areas? Should states receive bonuses and incentives for delivering key services against key outcomes? Things like measuring customer satisfaction, which we've been doing with Service New South Wales, maintaining a streamlined public service ratio or reducing taxation. It is clear that something has to change since there are not enough incentives for state governments to embark on tough reform at their own political expense.